check, check, check. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. How's so that? I'm Volume's fine. good? Yeah, volume's good there. We could uh, probably turn it down. Heavy. Yeah, it's a little hot. Yeah. yeah. How's that? Um, a little light. Yeah, that's better. So, like that? Yeah. I think that's all right. Okay. Good. So you'll just want to check. Every so often, check mine to make sure that it's kind of at the right angle. And that, yeah. Because it's really easy for these to get down here and then be stalking normal, but you can't. Yeah. So keeping that little microphone right in front of your, yeah. in front of your mouth is perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And take out your earrings. Yeah.
I think they're about to start here. Have they done their draw to the button? I think so, and I missed it. Posley won the draw. Okay, you can go ahead and turn us on. Yep. Go no on. Okay, players are on. Great. Thanks. We can uh, process eliminate. <laughs> and good afternoon, curling fans. My name is Sherry Burkhilo. At my side is Mikhail Elms Elsley. Elsey. Nice and easy. Sorry about that. And uh, we are here this afternoon at the New Floors Penticton Curling Classic here in uh, game number 11. Uh, and it is Team Hosley from Switzerland versus Team Robillard representing Langley. This afternoon we are looking forward to a really great game here. And uh, tell me what you think, Vic. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, looking forward to this game. Uh, we've got two teams uh, sort of middle of Pool A, uh, both looking to uh, get their third win um, on the board here. Uh, should be a good matchup, uh, both teams sitting at 2-2. Two and two. Wow. Right on. Yeah, so this is going to be a really important game for both of these teams. And uh, we've got, we've, we've just finished off the uh, draw to the button. So they determine who has hammer by the last stone draw. So uh, Hosley won that good with draw. the uh, shortest Whoa. draw to the button. Ten. So... We see the first yeah, rock in play. Start. Yeah, I think we can take like six feet off of what we're thinking. And Team like Robillard came in uh, fairly like deep, ended up behind the T-line yeah. for their first shot. So we'll see. We'll start all over again here. I didn't clear, the, clear the rocks and uh, start with the second stones from the, from the leads here. We can, I think, uh, looking for that center in. line guard. Saying they wanted to take about six feet off. So that's good. good. At least they ended up top house here, and I think we'll see uh, Hosley answer with another hit. Yeah, I think they're going to want this one to stick around. Yeah, you bet. Time to hold. Well, there is. Oh, Achtung. Zehn. Ja. 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 Aus. So lots of, uh, that was a nice shot. A little bit light maybe because it did end up over curling on them. Um, yeah, maybe a bit of a compensation here as they try to figure out the ice um, early in the game here. And Team Robillard with Jordan Tardy at lead. Andrew Nerpin uh, in second, Sebastian Robillard playing third, and Kyler Kleiblink in the house. It looks fine. I see that we've got actually uh, Nathan Small is playing das third, ist schon and Sebastian is in the house. Minutes. So it must just be a difference in. 
in the list. Yeah. Yeah. And I have. I have heard teams talking about bringing five players to this. Oh yeah. Uh, to this tournament, I'm not too sure if these uh, this team actually did bring five, so they may be just cycling some people through. I do see five on yeah. this list. So um, they were talking about having a, uh, a fifth that is playing a couple games this this week. Simon Glor coming from uh, Switzerland. Here, this uh, this Hosley team with a couple of brothers, we suppose, okay. here in uh, in Penticton. So that their lead is Justin Hauscher. Their second is Simon Floor, and he just shot his rock. Uh, Philip Hosley plays third, and Marco Hosley is the skip. This Swiss team is currently Girl. ranked Girl. 22 in the world, and they're representing the Curling Club Glaras in Switzerland. Yeah, this Hostly team uh, in 2019, 2020, uh, world junior silver medalists um, representing good Switzerland. The so they do have some some pedigree throw. on the on the world stage. From 18 and 19. Uh, uh, 2019 and 2020. Okay. okay. I was thinking oh, that easy. was right around the time Ten. Tyler Tardy. Yeah. Ten. Was in that mix. Yeah. So. Uh, Tyler Tardy is not playing on this team, but is uh, um, oh Tyler Tardy is yeah. is yes playing with Koei now. Koei yeah. now. Yeah. So I'm not sure what that exact date was, but I yeah. think it was right around there. Ten and a half. So it's likely that Jordan Tardy has played against these, this team before. Yeah. So Jordan That's may easy. have some interesting stories or have a little bit of intel about this team from Switzerland. This game's uh, been played very... Um, it, both teams uh, choosing to not have a lot of rocks in the house here. Um, spending a lot of time on the edges of the rings. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of just removing one for one here. Uh, shouldn't be a very high scoring end. So, yep, yep, well, you see, lean. Good throw. So we'll be paying attention to some of the other uh, games that are happening in the curling club today. And I see that um, Sturme versus Jones on sheet A. Kolomaya versus Botcher will be a great game on sheet B. McEwen versus Park. Park has been doing outstanding in this event. On sheet C. Nobert versus Slachinski on E. And Clyder versus Blazier on F. So we'll pay attention to those and uh, keep you updated on those scores briefly throughout our broadcast of this Hostly versus Robillard game today. Hostly with the red rocks and with the hammer this this end. I haven't been watching. Hostly looking here to um, get one right on the corner there. Maybe hold it up um, on that red that's just outside the rings, um, according to our look here. Um, but if they can get one locked in here, they might still have a play for two. Doesn't look like that red one at the back is in. See quite a bit of white. Yeah, so the back one's out, um, and they do have a slight biter on the edge here, but this will probably be removed quite quickly by Team Robillard. Team Robillard is a is a regular at this event. They they come to this. I wouldn't be surprised if they've been here all seven years. Of our yep. this is our seventh annual New Flores Penticton Curling Classic. Whoa, 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 yeah, it's fantastic whoa. to have these teams uh, come out year in and year out. Um, from 
from what I've heard as as a as a curler in this club, um, it, this is a well, um, well, obviously a well attended uh, tournament. We have 30 teams here, um, but a lot of returning teams um, from all over the world, which is fantastic uh, for us as Penticktonites and and for the curling club here in Penticton. Well, that's right, yeah, and this sure is a great yeah. event. Again, there's 30 might, teams. I thought it might curl uh, a little bit to go over the top of the other one. They've but, been uh, organized into pools of six, so five rob round robin yeah, games each, and the top good. team from each of those five of there, pools automatically advance forward, and the remaining teams that move forward are based on their uh, scores and their win and, and losses. From there, we'll see uh, some hard. quarters and semis hard. and finals right up until Monday. And there's a purse of $100,000 on the line. So every win, yep. the yep. team that wins gets a check for $200. And uh, the top team at this event is going to walk away with $20,000, even second prize is $15,000. That makes this a really great cash spiel at a really good time of the year for these teams that are trying to gather some of the CRTS points. Uh, and it's it does really help. And then it op opens up that opportunity for club players to play against these awesome, uh, experienced, Clean. excellent teams. Clean. So it's really great on all sides, both for our club, Clean. for the players. And for the pros. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's fantastic to be able to see. Um, we've got on sheet A here the uh, Team Penticton team um, with uh, Chris Jones skipping. And he's, uh, he's the ice maker here, uh, which is pretty cool. Him, he's, uh, he's playing, playing on his own ice, um, and he's up against Sturme uh, right now. So it's cool to see the local club curlers uh, going, going head to head with uh, some of the best, uh, best teams in the world here. Isn't that true? So, like you predicted, it is uh, it is a nice clean end. And you're looking at a blank here. Yep. As Marco comes down with his rock. Easy. Easy. And it's gone. Blank Good. end in the first. Everybody gets a chance to throw a few rocks and shake their sillies out and get ready to curl. Yeah, exactly. I think it's it's good for these teams to be able to feel out the ice without having to have a number hung up on the board against you. Um, we're now playing a seven-end game, 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> there you go. I think he's, he's probably going to throw some guards, I think. I think he wanted it in the odds, or the evens. Er tendet sehr viel breiter als im Ja, dann können wir schauen, dass wir die Länge wischbar spielen darf. Ja. Alles. Und vor allem jetzt Gras. Dann gehen wir gerade in den Kopf. Ja. Ja, der Center Spur ist sicher schnell. So, with Hosley uh, blanking that end, they keep the hammer in the second. Um, so, Team Robillard uh, throwing Blue Rocks uh, throw first again. That's right, Mick. So, this is uh, just the start of the second end. Hosley throwing red rocks. Oh, Rebelard coming into the house again. I think he's tried that last end as well. Yeah, he's uh, is at least I mean the second first rock of the second end, but uh, showing the same strategy. Um, I think I did overhear him say uh, I think he wants to throw guards, referring to his opponent Hosley there. So I think he's trying to uh, sort of set up the end for himself um, without hammer to potentially Cut. steal one. Cut. Yep. Hot. Hosley sets up that corner guard. Very nice. Now Robillard will look to guard that center one. Um, just put one on the center line uh, with the no tick rule in play here. If it's but touching the center line, for corner. if it's touching the center line, um, it can't be removed until the five rocks. Yeah, until the sixth rock is being thrown. Yep. Two. Two.
Good throw, Nathan. Four. Great sweep there. Okay. Yeah, nice touch to get it around. Nice throw by Justin Hauscher. Team Robillard now. Just looking to basically repeat that shot, but roll under that blue, that blue center guard there, have it buried. Jordan Tardy with Whoa. his second. Whoa. Sweeper's working on it to curl and gets it over a half an inch, but not much. Yeah, it looks like there's still maybe half a rock, quarter rock exposed. About the board. So uh, Team Hosley will try to come down and, barely hack, eh? and touch that one again. The Hosley team is uh, happy to uh, say thank you to their sponsors at Belvedere Asset Management and Balance Plus. Yeah. I think they're a pretty young team here and with everybody under the age of 26 on this team. Well, unfortunately, Flash that one through. I I think we've seen uh, over this course of this um, this tournament, three? the ice has been pretty straight for a lot of the for a lot of the players on those higher on those higher pace throws. That's right. So we've um, we've noticed a lot of the throwers or the skips asking for throwers to go to a more controlled weight because the sweepers can really hold the uh, can really manipulate the rock better. If the rock is being thrown at a at a little bit less weight, it's really pretty tough to control a rock that's coming in really fast. You're not going to get that effective effectiveness on the on the sweep like we see here. Yeah, you'll see the the knifing technique there, where he's sort of trying to push the rock um, in towards uh, towards the center line there, and that's a pretty effective sweep there. He's going to get it stacked right up on top. Sorry, great guys. shot. Andrew Nurpin is such a massively good sweeper. He's so good. Yeah. You know, you can just really make that rock move. So that's what we just saw right there. Yeah, just that down weight, just that little bit makes a huge difference in being able to move it even a few feet there. So the first day of play, the players felt like the ice was running straight. So that was some of the feedback that we got from... Uh, the players, so we took Thursday night and uh, papered the rocks, so just sharpened them a little, and now they're grabbing a lot more. Mm. We're, uh, you know, a whole day of play yesterday, and now a few games today, the the rocks have started to just soften up a little bit, and so I think they need to relearn it every time because they're just a little bit different. Um, but you know, we're seeing pretty good, pretty good curl. Like yeah. way more curl than we saw on the first day. So That's right. Uh, but these guys have each all had maybe two or three games on this now, and so they should be used to it. Yeah. That's, the, that's one of the things that I've noticed watching um, these high-end curlers is that it does not take long for them to figure out the ice and the, and the rocks, um, despite me moving from place to place, uh, tournament to tournament. Robillard looking for a nice soft tap back, I think. All right, to it. Oh, back four. Back four. Back four. Back four. Back four. Back eight. Back eight. Back eight. 
Wow, that slid. Okay. Good throw. Not bad. You can hear the sweepers there, yeah. just Sorry. constantly updating the, 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 the weights there. He's calling back four, house. back eight, and that's roughly where the rock ended up after the rub there. It was on that red guard for so long, and then, but at the, we've noticed that kind of at the grizzly sign, uh, just over the hog line is about where that starts to really bend and get a lot of curl yeah. as it finishes. Yeah. So Robillard sitting three here without hammer. Um, Hosley's going to want to have to get one in here. Looking at yeah. the double here. Nice shot. Has made a great shot. That and right. this is that's a really great spot to be in as well. So yeah. Nice shot by Team Hosley. Changes that end around quite a bit. way out, but Robillard tries to take it right to the edge of the corner edge of eight. That's me throw then. Yeah, like it. It's nice when you have the rocks are curling a little more, you get a nice straight line though. Going to get the inside roll. Is it going to get the double? Doesn't, but does sit shot rock at the back of the 12 foot. So for now, in a good place for Hosley. Yeah, it, it removes sort of that, that blue one from being being a threat for hanging around now. Oh, we roll wide um, we're now sort of playing with nice. skip stones here to uh, well, plus the double might to de like determine how this how this end plays out. I'm, I'm good with drawing out too if you like that. Sorry? Just a bit of weight there. Uh, wasn't able to wasn't able to keep that shooter around. Um, so now now just one one blue in the rings. Well, that red one is biting on the right on the edge of the 12 foot. We'll see if that comes into play at the end of the end of this end. Looks like Hosley is going to try and deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, the Hit and stick. The, the last the last yeah. shot they were hoping to have that yeah. have their shooter stick around, but uh, didn't curl didn't sure. curl up as much as they wanted it to. Well, with this red sitting at the back of the house at the edge of the twelve, you know, trying to yeah, you're right, make that come into play. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. 
Halt! 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 Great. Sticks around. Housley sitting two in the house now. Robillard's looking here just to, to remove the one for sure. Is that possible to roll over and remove both? I don't see it. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Another fun thing about these these tournaments and these shots, I think in the last game here, you, I heard you call a shot that you'd never seen before. Yeah, so. we wouldn't do that in league play. <laughs> <laughs> There's shots that don't exist in club play uh, being played in this club right now, which is uh, really fun to watch as a, as a club curler. And yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot. Changing the end up there for uh, Team Robillard now um, puts his rock in a whole new spot. So that's always a good idea to try and get yourself, maybe get the steel out of it. If the other skip doesn't know exactly where to put the broom, but this, this looks good. I think this might be the, another blank here. I think so, um, too. With where the rock is. Usually don't want to just score one with the hammer here, so probably look to reset again and go into a six-end game. And that's exactly what we have here. So at the end of end number two, we've got a, still a score, a couple of blanks, no score on the board yet, uh, as Housley holds onto the hammer, throwing uh, the red rocks. So this game is brought to you by New Floors Penticton. Thank you so much, uh, New Floors Penticton, and also A&K Grim Sausage, just down the street of down from us here at the Penticton Curling Club. Uh, A&K Grim Sausage can be found at 667 Eckhart Avenue in Penticton and has a really great variety of uh, uh, butcher and grocery items. The beef jerky is fantastic. Isn't it? And yeah. the pepperoni. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. I was lucky enough to get, a, get my hands on some uh, the other day <laughs> and didn't last long in the house. Let's, let's <laughs> just tell you that much. They um, are, are great supporters of the curling club, and uh, you know they're they're curlers at heart. They're part of this culture. They love being a part of the Penticton Curling Club. We can uh, sell their pepperoni and stuff as, and I know that they give stuff away as part of the welcome packages that these uh, athletes receive. And uh, maybe that's why these athletes keep saying this is the best event that they go to. They love this event. I'm sure that's part of it. Um, and the other thing that I love about A&K Grim Sausage is that they sponsor our hog lines. We have their logo in our, in our hog lines. <laughs> so I think the sausage place for the hog lines is a really great uh, a sponsor combination. It's There's a lot of leverage there. I it's think that's fantastic. good. Yeah, it's fantastic. That's so good. I actually never put two, those two together, but uh, <laughs> I'm never going to see the hog line the same way anymore. <laughs> So a center line guard for Mobilard this time. That's that's a new strategy for him for the first day, for the first rock. Yeah, I, I think uh, if you if you ever want to get the hammer back, um, you're gonna have to switch something up here. So um, go ops for the center line guard first, and uh, we'll see we'll see how uh, Hosley responds. Hosley well, looking for the come around here. I think he went a little deep, um, and it looks like it went right through. So, um, not not what they were looking for. Um, and it looks like uh, we're gonna put another center line guard up here. So. Different different setup to this to this third end here. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to see a little more rocks in play. We're, we're over. Uh, 
want to? No. Putting up another guard. Yeah. Well, the first one, they did go up and take a look to see if it ha was on the center line. So as you, as you might recall, we are playing the center line uh, no tick rule. So if it is touching, they're not allowed to move it. But it's really close. That back one closer to the house. Yeah, I think, again, with the quality of um, curling that's here, single guards don't often do much. They, they remove pretty quickly <laughs> yeah. uh, if necessary, so I can maybe see them hoping to get a, get a little bit more in play here to uh, hopefully set up something that they can sneak behind. Bit better weight on this draw here. Looks like it's going to go just below the T-line, unfortunately, for them. But still a good shot. Really good shot and uh, did go behind the guards. Uh, might still be poking out. I think that's totally doable for Robillard to be able to get in there and maybe even tap that back a little bit. Yeah, and if you, if you don't have hammer, this is, this is a good spot for, for Robillard to be if they can get this one uh, where they want it. With that weight, looks like a freeze. We're going to start to see this rock really curl now. Yeah, right about that grizzly line there. Yeah. You're right, it does dive over. Really nice. Oh, what a beautiful mixed doubles shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 50 50. Penticton has a mixed doubles league every Sunday afternoon, and we are hosting a mixed doubles uh, bond spiel here next weekend. So, yeah. three weekends in a row, I'm here, ladies' bond yeah, spiel, this event, and the mixed doubles next weekend. You're so heavily involved with this club. If you're not commentating, you're you're coaching or or helping out on the ice or helping up at the bar it's it's amazing to have you uh part of this club and and, and participating in, in so many levels i love it thank you another great shot that was a beauty nice weight on that um hoping that it had curled in a little bit more so they stuck around yeah a bit of a spill but, on the far side there yeah. but still removing the blues Grouping anything with Robillard, you know this is going to be gone right now. Yeah, yeah, they're such a strong team. This is uh, Jordan Tardy coming out. <laughs> Soft weight, really. But you didn't need too much to get these two gone. No, should get the roll and both reds will go. Great shot. Even with the roll under two, it's not fully nice. buried, but it does uh, it does make it a little more tricky to remove that blue one. At least if you were curling at my level. <laughs> and now Hosley's not happy with the two blue in front, so they'll look to remove both of them. Now that we're past the, uh, or at the sixth rock being thrown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh rock being thrown. Yeah. So they can easily do that. So that blue one stuck around, which means that there's now a corner guard maybe in play. It's a very wide corner, but there's still something there. Um, yeah, we'll see how the rest of the send plays out. All right, fans, pull out your red ticket. Oh, yeah, wow. I think it's... I, I haven't been getting times on draws, but I'm assuming it's close to 16 to get there. Ooh. 
fans that are here at the club are able to participate in some of the random draws that are going on. Kathy Jones is behind me making some, uh, pulling some tickets and making some uh, people happy with some prizes. Yeah, it looks like uh, th there's some uh, curling jerseys being given out here upstairs, uh, which is super exciting. We also have a, a silent auction um, going on down at the club. Um, so encourage anyone to come down and uh, check out the silent auction, check out some of the curling. Um, we've, got a, we've got a bunch of games this afternoon, another, another draw here at uh, 7 o'clock tonight um, for the evening games. So Robillard with Blue Rocks here in the third end. No score. Yeah, a lot of the game being played on the fringes of the house um, for these first three ends here. Um, wide open, good, uh, good easy hitting for, um, for, the, for the players out here. Andrew Nurpin. Is that going to stick around? Just does. Yeah. So maybe not set up in an ideal uh, place for Robillard. Yeah, we should, we should be seeing both these rocks go here on this shot here, and we'll be back to the one rock in the house um, with skip stones to play. Nice shot. Gets the double, rolls out. <laughs> yeah, Roblard's go. One rock to take advantage of. Looks like he's going to try to sneak up behind that corner. If he can get it buried, he might might be able to force something here. But um, being on the edge of the edge of the house, it's uh, also the easiest to remove for another blank. Skip stones here in third end of play, still no score. And it actually goes just through. So just uh, got a little tricked on the weight there. Yeah, it's unfortunate that that one didn't stick around because it now opens up the opportunity for Hosley to potentially put one in. Maybe they'll be able to get their set there too. Is that possible or is this another blank? With that ice indicating to me that they're taking an intern and trying to go to the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Originally, when they had the broom on the other side, I thought they were going to try to get oh. something sort of hidden by the blue, but you're right. I'm not too sure where their, their plan is with this rock. Lots of rotation, and we've noticed that uh, that's an important part of, the, of having a successful throw on this ice with these rocks, is that nice positive rotation. 
so that it has a chance to grab and really starts to move. So yeah, just putting the rock in a different spot. Nice, putting it right back at the back of the house where it's easy to set up the blank. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Sebastian Robillard coming down for his last throw of this third end. Housley with hammer. one came back just in time but it does look like we're gonna see this this rock probably thrown right through the house here to to put a hang up another blank nice and easy nice and easy yeah easy i shot don't to think make. i've seen a, a game that starts with three oh, blank ends yeah, in this event yet that i've noticed no, um, I mean, we're looking at the scoreboards here um, on sheet A. We've got uh, Sturme up 3 nothing on the Team Jones, which is the Penticton Curling Club team. On sheet B, uh, Kolomaya is down 5 nothing to Botcher. On sheet C, we've got, uh, looks like a 2 nothing lead uh, Park over McEwen. We've got 0-0 zero, zero, uh, on this game, Hosley Robillard. Uh, 1-1 one, one in the nobert Shulinski game. And it looks like it's 4 nothing for Kleiter versus Blazer. Um, so, yeah, we are the only, uh, only game that's got uh, no points on the board so far um, as we start the fourth end. Maybe this one will, will open the scoring. One can hope. We've seen a couple of different, you know, starts for the strategies. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, what... Sebastian calls for here. Yeah, it's just running. Yeah, it's done. It's like the center guard play. Um, see if they can get this one on the center line to protect it for the for the first half of the end, and and it'll sit right in the middle of the center line. So nice high, good start. Center line guard. Team Hosley here opting for the corner guard. So we are seeing um, in the last few ends, we've seen rocks in, in the house right away here. And now it uh, looks like we're, draw we're, we're setting up for, for multiple guards in play, which usually leads to more offense um, as there's more stuff in play uh, to hide behind, less hitting, um, more chances to score. So uh, for those watching at home, and us here, um, <laughs> stay tuned. We'll see if we'll see if these guards are still in play uh, after this, the into the second half of this end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been an interesting game so far. You know, we just keep seeing opportunities that kind of get missed, and then they set up the double, and then all of a sudden everything is open again. Exactly. It, it's good. It's good strategy um, to to not get yourself into a position where you're going to give up a big end, right? So it's better to. It's better to knock them all out and start over again than it is to just, um, yeah, end up with too many of the opposite color zones in the in the ring. Obviously, Robillard setting up these two perfect center line guards. Curl. 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 
Oh, That's great weight. Better. Really nice spot there for the Hosley team. This is their first year together as a team, so um, I'm sure their lineup is just a little bit different than it was when they were in juniors. Fifth off. Team Robillard here is looking to come down and sit on top of this red one here, basically follow that shot, um, the shot down. Because as it sits right now, that red rock is very hard to remove. Well, yeah, as Robillard set up the guards, and then Hosley went in and used them. Yeah. He was the first one there. So maybe that second uh, guard wasn't a great um, time for that. Very good. That was a good shot. It's pushed the red rock out from, from behind those two center guards, so now both the blue rock is exposed, but also the red one. So um, lots to play for still. I'm quickly learning here too that um, things that can set up, that can look one way, even halfway, three quarters of the way through through an end, can change so quickly. Uh, the teams and the players are just so skilled at throwing multiple different levels of weight, whether it's up weight or down weight, to get the shot that they want. Um, the sweepers finish it. Yeah. What needs to be done? They're on it. It's great. Yeah. The sweep is so effective. Yeah. Exactly. Robillard is able to take that right to the edge. I think it's still technically in. I think it might be just biting. It, it, it's hard to say from the overhead shot from here, but um, looking lean, down, mm -hmm. I think I can. I can't see the blue, the curve of the of the twelve foot from where I'm sitting here. So I I do believe that red one is biting. I agree. Team Robillard thinks they can see just enough of it. Yeah, they're just to trying to bump, bump this red one back just a touch. There's that knifing to get that to curl in right on top of the red rock. Rocks moving here as they're oh. clearing the Cal. Cal. Whoa. Uh, curling the uh, Whoa. Uh, getting rid of those guards. A fantastic shot there. Both those blues were almost perfectly stacked up on each other, and they were able to remove them both and quite, open up that end. And quite often, your shooter ends up sitting right there, kind of creating its own problem um, yeah. but the, he did manage to get that one to roll just off a little bit too so <laughs> perfect yeah now Robillard will look to replace that center guard there to protect that blue one so this is the strategy here for Robillard is to try to st is tr try to force Hosley to one here right they're sitting Robillard is sitting second shot and wants to ideally keep that rock around to sort of force uh, Team Hosley to just score their one, and 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 so that Robillard can steal hammer for the for the next end. Team Robillard, made up of players from Langley, Royal City, Kelowna, and Castlegar, come together to this event. Year after year, it's so great to see them all. Puts up a nice guard, a little bit tighter than they wanted, but I think that's in a really good spot.
We have a few teams that had local players. So when we do have local players out on the ice, the crowds are really excited about it and we get lots of cheering and clapping. There's lots of viewers upstairs this afternoon and there's plenty downstairs as well. So lots of places to come and sit and get really close to the action. Randy. Yep. 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 Hard. 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 Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Able to push that blue one right by, um, but that red rock is is still is still guarding that center line. So the call is to place this rock on, like, the F in new floors. Yeah, if they can get two stacked up on each other, they'll be, they'll be sitting pretty good without hammer uh, with two rocks in, in good scoring position. Okay, on the F in new floors is, you know, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you called that shot from all the way up here. About the save in the hole. Save in the hole. And with that, that second blue one in the forefoot, looks like it's fully fully frozen on the red one now, so it might be hard to, to remove that, that, that blue stone uh, with, with one rock. Yeah, really well played by Robillard there. We're going to see some rocks in play. Rocks moved here. Uh, very heavy throw uh, down the middle here to, to break up that, that blue frozen rock. Nice. Great. They did... Uh, get rid of one hard to tell who's sitting second shot there whether it's the red at the top 12 or the blue at the back hard to say from here and I think it's hard to say on the ice you saw the you saw mm -hmm. the Skip Robillard there look twice over it um, it is very close yeah so you know so clapped and that would be a blow I'm trying to listen in on the conversation here for Team Robillard. Um, but I don't think they have their mics on. Well, I, um, I'm not sure what they decided to do. So it looks like with that ice that they've decided to they were Come talking in. they were talking about just replacing that um, replacing the center guard there um, they are now sh sitting shot um, basically take away that run back um, or at least make it a little more complicated with a couple rocks in play here um, we could do that with a really high guard I suppose yeah um, that was the original talk but then when I said we missed the conversation but the weight is not no high guard Looks like this one's going to come down onto the red one. Might over curl. Yeah. 
So I think it's still there for Hosley. Mm -hmm. Looks good from the overhead. Looks a little bit tougher live from behind. Yeah. From our angle above. They seem pretty comfortable with that shot, though. I think so. I've seen some pretty good shots from these guys, and they've, you know, won two games here at this event, which is pretty outstanding considering the quality of the play. Two wins, two losses for each of these teams coming into this game, so we know they both want to make this their third win. Yeah, it's, I think it might be a little too early um, with all the teams in play uh, to see if that third that third win will be enough to get them into the playoffs. Um, but looking across the boards, um, depending on how the, the rest of the, the day plays out, three and two could be good enough uh, to get you into the playoffs. Hard! 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 Ooh. Not enough curl on that last rock. Um, Tough which, break for Hosley. Which, which led to, to the, yeah, not remove, not pushing the blue straight back like they wanted, and it, it's, it ended up sticking around for, I think they're sitting two. Mm -hmm. Last rock for Team Robillard. Sure. You could look at trying to remove that red rock, but there's a lot of a lot of action up above. <laughs> Why go harder than it needs to be, right? Go ahead and just do the draw. Um, Housley does have last rock, but this at least sets up the force. Exactly, which is um, the, the the second best option you have when you don't have hammer is a force for one. Obviously, stealing being the the first choice. Well, you know, if he gets this rock in the right spot, it'll be pretty tough for Hosley to get in there. Exactly. Weight seems a bit up for, for a draw. Is he potentially coming down to freeze on the on his it's rock there? over curling if that's the case. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to stick around. It does give a little bit of backing. Both of those do. But you don't want to play to that and risk going through that tiny port. Yeah, exactly. So just play your draw. And it looks like he's calling for the, for, for the double. We call it the triple there. Um, Looks like Risk the, the triple for two. Oh, I love it. Yeah. That's exciting. Long time it's out. Based Long on his weights, he's been throwing sure. up weight all day. Might Long as well stick to, stick to, a, to yeah. what you know. Let's see, if he can, uh, let's see if he can remove all three blue rocks here. Man, halb hast du noch immer. Yep. So we'll see in a moment if this is the yes. right call. Yes. Yes. Looks tight Hard. to that blue guard. Hard. Good what start. a shot. Wow. Wow. Amazing. So risky and it pays off. That is two, two, two big points. points for nice. Team Hostly. What a shot. Thanks. I saw Robillard there. He's smacking his broom on the ice. I don't think he foresaw uh, giving up two. It, it was so unorthodox. <laughs> it was awesome. What a great shot. So uh, really exciting uh, third end of play with Hosley coming up two over Robillard. Still nothing. And um, down, the, down the sheets, we've got Sturme still ahead. Uh, Kalamaya 
is uh, picked up a couple of points in the third end and now sits uh, five and two against Team Botcher. And Team McEwen is four, uh, four points over two for Team Park. And finally, a score on the board here. Team Hosley took a couple in that third end. Really great. Got to give a, a shout out there to Team Jones and the Penticton team. Easy done. Uh, both my skip and my third playing for that team, and it looks like they <laughs> uh, they hung a point on the third period uh, in the third uh, end there. It's now looking three one uh, for Sturme, but uh, Team Penticton hanging in there. <laughs> Love it. And that's when you hear the crowds go a little wild down there. So a change. Uh, Robillard gets the hammer now. And we'll see him put up a corner guard. My name is Sherry. I've got Mick at my side. And we're here today at draw number 12 of the Penticton New Floors Curling Classic uh, here at the Penticton Curling Club. Team Robillard looking for win number three. And looks like uh, that rock got burnt. Was it or burned or it. burned or uh, or picked? I'm not I'm too not sure. sure. I don't know. Um, I, they, it didn't it make it. Burned, so. It didn't make it halfway down the rock or down the down the sheet, yeah. and they had to kick it down. So, a um, little light. unfortunate throw um, for the corner guard there. So, Hosley now takes over, <laughs> looking to uh, sink one in here behind their center guard. <laughs> Fifth ice. Lini has him, it's about Kash Lini. Wait, dog. Wait. Could he use just a little bit more weight just to bring it back enough to be fully buried? Not quite fully buried, and I think you're going to see uh, Team Robillard take care of. Huh? Choosing to go for the corner guard. Yeah. Yep. I think, I think it up. being down two, yeah. it, it's worth it's worth at this point you to sort of have something guard. else yep. there, especially with how um, effective Team Hosley's been with their hitting. Um, leaving anything open doesn't seem to uh, doesn't seem to lead to good That's good results. That's good. So we're in the fifth round, fifth end of play here. Perfect. Robillard with the hammer this end. For the first time after three blank ends, we finally got a score in that fourth end. Just rubs on the car. That's the ganz ring is a little schräg. Ah, da mit der Elf kannst du klicken. Wie schnell spielen wir? Schluss macht schon noch nicht. Ich finde sie ist gut so. Ich hatte schon mal gespielt. Looking for a hit and roll here. Uh, just roll under the center guard. Elva, Elf! Elva, Hal! Oh! Ten! Yep, ten! 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 
that Swiss team can just seems to like they can just hit anything. They're just so amazing. Yeah, I think they were hoping to roll that one um, under center, uh, so it didn't it didn't curl up as much as they wanted, but still removing uh, removing opponent stones is always uh, always going to work out in your favor. Okay. Nein, das schon nicht, aber. Verglichen zum Intern in die andere Richtung macht es schon viel. Das ist gut so. I like it. Das steigert sich zu viel. Great touch to get that uh, get that through there. Um, does stay wide, stay open though, and we'll, we'll probably see this blue rock not great. Yeah, come back to God, fast out. So uh, maybe trying a little bit of a controlled weight. T line, so. A little bit. We're going to see this rock moving anyway, so let's see what it does. Lots of rotation on this. Needs to curl. Justin! Yeah. Oh. 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 I, just an, I, you could hear the two of them uh, changing their minds about whether it should be straight or curl, and they should have stuck with the curl. Yeah, it's it's tough when it's when it's moving that oh. quick, and you've got that little bit of window to do it. Um, yeah, I think torn between hitting that one thicker and rolling under, or listening to the guy that's calling line. Who, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Jeez, that's too bad. Calling. Up and down to see what, what he thinks. Take a look at the angles. So we're just trying to see if we can find a way to hear what these guys are talking about in it. Um, it appears that they're, they, I may not be wearing mics. We, it is optional for them to, to wear the mics. So it's fun when they do. Yeah, we've been, we've been looking. If you hear the, the sound on the ice uh, get very loud, uh, if you're watching at home, it's us trying to f find the games. We do have the, um, the Hosley mic's working, so if, if you do understand uh, uh, Swiss, then you, you, we, we can listen to that. But unfortunately for us, we, uh, we can't translate what uh, the team Hosley is, uh, is uh, strategizing about. So Andrew Nurpin coming down after they've made their decision and... Again with Robillard throwing blue rocks. Does have hammer. With hammer, um. yeah. Looking at maybe, you know, trying to get that red rock out of there. Try to roll under. Yeah. And then... Oh. 
that's pretty good. It's going to roll up. See that? Nice. Now he's got that double blues again. He's got the double blues, but I think this oh, time with the red one behind, um, there is a risk of a jam there if they try the double. Or at least removing the red, at least removing the red one. That that oh, is right, uh, right now, it's, uh, it's okay. kind of steal the one. But. Yeah. Well, I think Marco sees it too. There's no help on ice day. Yeah, he thinks it's okay. thinks it's too close to to get the blues without without damaging the their red shot stone right now. It's gonna try it though. Oh, wow. Dune <laughs> fierto. They're confident. Okay. Yeah. We'll see if this ever backfires on them. <laughs> so that's a risky play. They trust it, though. They've been making everything so far. Yeah, it's been a it's been a strong strong showing from Team Hosley here. It's out wide. They're trying to curl it in, oh. and they flashed it right through. Okay. I think just a little wide. I think they were trying to have it come in and, and hit it on the on the other side of the stone, but it with that weight there's no there's no curl. That's the other one's going mm -hmm. straight down the ice. That's right. And that gives Robillard a chance here, a real nice opportunity to try that tap tap. Yeah. To um to get in there with his rock. It gives him another moment to see what the ice is doing. Certainly with that much weight, he knows he's not going to call that kind of weight. Taking a good look at the angles here. It is a, it is a little risky that you, that you just you don't flash your blue either straight back and out of the house or across the top without removing, without moving the red one. I wish I could hear them. I know. Team Robillard is sponsored by Slipstream, Torchlight Brewing, Mr. Mike's, and In Play Live. Team Robillard would like to send a big shout out to their sponsors and say thank you so much for your support so they can come to events like this. They are from Langley, Royal City, Kelowna, and Castlegar, so uh, it's, I'm sure they're not together every weekend to practice. No, I think that's a, that's a pretty good spread across the province here in British Columbia. Um, it's, it must be challenging to, uh, to get together here. It looks like they're going with the draw on this side to back down to the red one. Great touch. That's really nice. <laughs> Great shot. That was a fantastic shot. It moves, the, moves that red one below the T-line. Uh, yeah. Out of yeah. shots done, and uh, but still keeps uh, it around. If if uh, so. for a yeah. jam for later. It's close, isn't it? It's the fifth half, though. Yeah. We're looking for, at a freeze here uh, onto that blue stone, basically uh, a replica of that last shot. Line is good. Help. Justin in. Just a curl. Just got a curl. Carf, down a Carf, bit. Carf. It's hanging out. Yeah, get off. Just a touch. So we've got the blue one right on the pin. Uh, it looks like it's frozen right on that red one now. 
Housley will be disappointed with that shot that outcome. So that's. Yeah, that's but Robillard is going to look at it as a new opportunity. This really sets uh, sets him up for the end. Exactly. If he can get another one in here, um, you saw them tapping on the ice there, right in front of the blue stall. And if they can get another one frozen in there, um, they it sets Robillard up for for a big end if he can um, if he can remove some of those red stones. Robillard's first, looking just to freeze to that uh, blue right on the right on the pin. It's a bit heavy. Well, I don't think they mind the tap back, but uh, it needed to yeah, curl yeah. to get where he needed to. That's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, it opens the door again for, uh, for Team Hosley here to, to, to put one um, well, on that same spot. Everyone wants to be um, above the T-line on the button, and that's where this rock yeah. is going to try to go. Yeah, it's good, Clevin. Yeah, Lenny for good. The Botcher game has ended in uh, handshakes. Didn't take too many ends. They're only at about an hour of play. So uh, Botcher takes the win there, and I. So they're still at the top of their uh, pool. Yep. That'll take them to uh, four wins and one loss. That loss was quite uncharacteristic. They've been having a great event so far. So Hosley went deep with their draw attempt there. Um, which leaves an opening here for Robillard. If they can move some of these blues into the um, in there, they could potentially push push out those red rocks right behind the behind their shot stone okay. for potentially three. Sorry, correction. I I believe they can only get two here. Um, by pushing out the back two reds. Mm-hmm. While these guys are uh, thinking about what to do next, I'll just take you around the rings. On sheet A, we have Sturme uh, leading Team Jones with a score of 3-1. to one. Botcher's game is finished. McEwen still leads uh, over Team Park. And actually, it's a tie for McEwen and Park uh, playing the fifth end, and they are tied at four. Nobert, three. Slachinski, two, over on sheet E. And Kleiter is up 7 nothing over Blazer. Still working at it. It's the fifth end. I think 
think Team Robillard's here looking at a way to potentially score a, a bunch of a bunch of points here. Uh, I don't know if it's if it's there, but they're looking at a basically a and off the reds and then roll it in underneath and potentially knock those other two red ones at the back out. Again, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's there, but they're they're looking at a way to potentially score a handful. No time clocks used in this event. The teams can take as much time as they need in order to make the best call for them. I'd like to send a big shout out to Chris and Kathy Jones who work many, 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 many hours on this event. And uh, the Penticton Curling Club is really a beneficiary of all their hard work and uh, I know we just would really we really get a lot out of this event and it means a lot to the entire club and so on behalf of the uh, board and everybody all of our members we just want to say thanks yeah. so much for all of the work that Chris and Kathy put in it's tireless hours so we thank them very much they're awesome it's amazing they they do I know you just said so much, but and 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 I get that those terms get thrown a lot around a lot. But like, I if you come to this club at any point at any time of the day, you will see one or both of them here working on something. Uh, Chris is the head mi ice maker here, um, but uh, but also does everything else. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the same with Kathy, right? Yeah. They they're here all the time, and and they they really they put on this they put on this event. Um, with the help of volunteers, but I feel like they, they, they do a lot of heavy lifting uh, for this new floors at Penticton Curling Classic. Sure do. And it's a great way for our club to uh, get out there in the community. And, you know, we have uh, Lisa Knight here from Royal LePage Locations West Realty. Looks like we're ready to throw the final stone here in uh, the fifth end. Looks like they're going for... <laughs> Uh, potentially just a drawdown for two. I guess they didn't see a way where they could get rid of all three of those reds. Yeah, without <laughs> doing potentially damage. Yeah, so... Should be moving nicely now. That looks really great. Two deep might only be one. Oh. One? Still just one. Just one. <laughs> what a great end. Uh, lots of rocks in play that time. Uh, lots of potential for for multi points. Yeah. Well, uh, so after five ends of play, the score is Hosley with two and Roblard with one. This game is brought to you by the Penticton New Floors and also by a and K Grim Sausage. Uh, thanks so much for your support. Uh, both both of these companies just work uh, work really hard, and uh, they're great companies to work with in Penticton. And uh, have, both places have great customer service, and you can just drop in anytime for specialty needs. And they're always there to help. It's great to have these local companies uh, come out to support this. As, as we look over onto Sheet A, where our uh, beloved Penticton team has uh, shook hands with Team Sturme uh, after a big end. There was a team that dropped out at the last minute, and so um, in order to keep the draw the same, uh, Chris and uh, a few of our, you know, great team uh, players and, and just great curlers, uh, you know, and nice guys decided to put a team together. They knew it was going to be a pretty tough road. Uh, so they are 0-4 or 0-5 at this event. So, But they're having a great time and they're out there smiling and it's really nice to see. And <laughs> yeah, I think Chris just 
so much. You know, they, not just do Chris and Kathy do so much to put this event on, but then to be curling in it as well. Wow, yeah. what a guy. <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a busy man. Uh, I think he's uh, doing some commentating later too. I'm pretty of course. sure I saw him on the schedule <laughs> as well. <laughs> Uh, I think the other important thing to mention from that matchup, though, is that uh, Sturme now also goes to four and one. So uh, we have Botcher oh. and Sturme four and one in T in in Pool A, uh, which which does put a little bit more pressure on on uh, on this uh, Hosley and uh, Robillard game um, to to make sure that someone <laughs> that uh, to potentially get into the playoffs because four and one in second place will be one of the teams playing in the playoffs. I guess we should also Step. mention there will be tiebreakers, I guess, so I'm not too sure there where, is room for where tie the tiebreakers yes. will come into play, but we are seeing some four and ones being hung up on the um, up on the, on the master Step. scoreboard here um, at the Penticton Curling Club. Session. A couple of our games have finished nice. that, uh, namely that Jones game that we just mentioned, uh, as well the Botcher game. Uh, Botcher was victorious <laughs> after just a few ends. Um, we're wrapping up our Saturday afternoon at 3.30 this game, and our next game is scheduled at 7 p.m. Please feel free to join us and watch any of your favorite curlers. We've got Dunstone versus Pierce on sheet A, and Schuster versus Eden on sheet B, Cooey versus Richard on sheet C, Yanagisewa versus Montgomery on D, here on D, Epping versus Dijon. That'll be a great game. Dijon's doing great. And Bruner versus Berg on F. So that's our 7 p.m. game. There's still plenty of room available, some seats available. I know tonight is going to uh, is going to fill up in here. We've got some pretty exciting fans in the 7 p.m. game. It's always fun to to be here for the 7 p.m. game. Great way to spend a Saturday night. We've seen uh, here uh, on sheet D here another uh, end set up with the two corner guards and the center guard and uh, Team Hosley there um, now again first to the first to the center line in the house. Uh, we've seen this seen this one play out before. Um, so yeah, it looks like uh, another end where there's potential for some offense as Robillard looks like to come down and and uh, sit on top of that red stone in the house. Bit of an over curl, been under thrown, but um, not the still usable rock there at the top of the house. Yep. Yes. Team Hosley from Sweden, oh, Switzerland, oh. and they are ranked number 22 in the world. Team Robillard from Langley and uh, around British Columbia, ranked number 75 in the world. Again, these two games, these two teams are coming in with uh, each have two wins, two losses. So this is an important game for both of them, and uh, now that so many games have been played, we're starting to see who's uh, rising to the top. And uh, wins and losses are important every every game. Yeah, it's too bad we can't do the splash it up on the screen the whole the whole uh, um, standings of the of the tournament here. But I am seeing a lot of two and twos um, in 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 a lot of the other pools. So the 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 top of the top of each pool it looks like they're usually coming out with four wins. Um, 
and sort of middle of the middle of the pack teams are, are in that two and two range right now, three and two range. So this game is important for teams sitting at two and two um, to potentially get into that into that playoff it's, if it's possible. Team Schuster yep. from the USA and Team Brent Five. Pierce from British Five. Columbia are the only two teams that I see up on the board that are four wins, no losses. So they're each at the top of their pool. Yeah, and I think there's no surprises there with that Schuster team. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure they won last year, so they are the defending New Forest champions. So they are. That's um, a great point. Yes, they, do, they, they did. do like this. They do like this event, and then it's showing on the showing on the standings yeah. as well. I am enjoying the way that uh, uh, these two teams, the, the chess match of curling and the chess match of these two teams here. Uh, Roblard is, is very, very determined to have that center guard um, there in play. And uh, Team Hosley has, is, isn't having any of it. Any chance they get, they remove those center guards to keep it open, um, playing to their strengths um, from what we've seen here at, at, at hitting. Yep. Yep. Yeah, they do uh, like to keep the, they're really great with hits. Yeah, yeah, really great with hits. Something I might take to my Tuesday, uh, my Tuesday men's league team is, <laughs> let's not play center guards. We give up too many big ends. <laughs> Robillard again oh coming God. down. <laughs> with the with the yeah, with the play at the guard here, he likes his center line guards. Yeah, loves to set up that blue on blue. Yeah, right. We see that again and again with him. To get rid of two blue guards there. Yeah, another open end. Jordan Tardy stays in the house, holds the broom, calls line while Sebastian throws. It's such a great sweeper too. Yeah, sweeping is is such a is such an important part of the game and if you have a good strong front end that can sweep and control rocks it makes makes the rest of the game very easy. Great shot. It was a great Removed shot and really nicely swept as well. Yeah. You know, the sweeping, really holding that rock. It's amazing to me the, the, the changes even in the last five years on, about curling and, the, and just the science that comes out of sweeping and directional sweeping and all those things. It's, it's, it's cool for a game that's been around for... Let's call it hundreds of years. <laughs> it's it's still it's still always developing, which is amazing. Yeah, I think that's you're absolutely right. It's things have changed so much, even strategy changes, and as the as the equipment and the tools that we use change yeah. and improve the game. 
then your strategy starts to change. Yeah, and then, the rules, cha yep. and then the rules and then change, the rules change <laughs> because the players have adapted yep. to the old rules. It's it's Hi. a it's a pretty cool um, cool thing to be a part of is no, no. seeing all the all the changes in in real time. Okay, nice shot. Robillard with the hammer, going to try and create as much space as he can so he doesn't uh, bunch these up and set up the double. Yeah, as we've seen in this game, if uh, if rocks are bunched up. Uh, the chances of them both going are, are pretty high, so the goal here is to roll one out to the outside of the outside of the twelve. There, far apart, so that uh, you force again force the force the draw. Really starting to move on them. Mm -hmm. This one might dangerously <laughs> might close. end up on the blue just by. Wow, what a shot! That's going to work out for them. That's a good shot. Yeah. Elf, elf, squid. Nina help, see for you. So hit for one. The draw is there, but he's uh, comfortable with the hit. Give me the hard me. Hey. I'll take two forty. Marco Hosley, twenty-three-year-old. From Cur Curling Club Glarus, Switzerland. Yep. Clean. Yep. Curl. 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 A shot right on the nose. Hit Just and stick for called. one. That puts Hosley up three to one. Three. Over Robillard after six ends of play. And, of course, that all-important scoring in the sixth end, which everybody likes to do. Yeah. Next to us on sheet C, we've got McEwen and Park tied at four apiece. Slichinski and Nobert tied at three. And the Clyder game is over. Clyder with the victory there. Switch set. So Team Hosley chooses to go into the house first, and it looks like uh, Team Robillard here is going to counter with the with the corner guard. Go, Justin. After six, it's still just three one. It's a it's a low scoring game, and that was because there was blanks in the first three ends. Uh, first, second, and third end uh, all were. We're blanks, so that's why we've got a, such a low score of 3 1 in the sixth end here. And then since then, in the fourth and fifth and sixth end, we've seen lots of rocks in play and lots of action, lots of great hits. 
Yeah, the hitting's been fantastic in this game, um, as it's, it's showing here. If the, anytime anything that's open has been has been removed pretty quickly, so um, it's been an exciting game for um, for those who like the the high speed rock throwing. Three squid. Yep. 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 Ten. But Justin. Good. We'll play center guard. Nice guard, yep. Out the dust. Simon Glure in the hack. Nice to try, you see? Try. Finish good. Try. Try. Yeah. Looks like they're trying to come in. Get a nice curl on this, so makes it past the blue guard. Just tick the red one over, create, create a bigger wall there. Yeah, didn't create too much of an opening, didn't make a port there. Just give Sebastian the opportunity to try and just get those two out of there with... Kill two stones with one of yours. Yeah. Jordan Tardy. Being a little heavy, this has to curl. Mm -hmm. He was trying to just hit and roll out for the corner guard here. Might catch not enough of it to stick around. <laughs> so put another guard in place here. Marco Hosley being quite uh, patient here and just keeping things protected. He's up three to one over Robel our you know BC team Robillard. Yeah, with without hammer um, and shitting, sitting sitting shot stone right now, it's a, he's able to um, sort of play a, a patient game here and sort of wait for Robillard to to force force the game open here um, you don't need to don't need to do anything crazy in the position you're in if your team hosley yep almost in the exact same spot yeah <laughs> is it worth trying to keep this open uh, going going in, obviously we're in the in the seventh end here, and you have you have hammer down two. Is it worth trying to blank and bring the hammer home in eight, down two, or do you try to try to tie it up here and and steal one in the eighth? I think that's more your plan. Try and tie it up here. I think you're right. There, it's uh, pretty tough to get the blank. I think that's a better idea. Yeah, try and get your two here and steal one coming home. Yeah, and I think in if that's the case, then setting up those those corner guards is, is going to be important and they there is enough stuff on the outside now and um we'll see we'll see how su successful they can be um removing those those center guards going into the back end of this with the seventh end
Viel Platz jetzt. Oh. Warten, Wien, Wien ist okay. Viel Platz. I think he Wenn felt okay. like his uh, leg thrust was quite light. Yeah. It seemed as though he gave it quite a push with his oh. hand. But it's still a uh, guard weight. Yeah. With this ice being as fast as it has been. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh. It probably oh. feels oh. like you're barely oh. moving out of the hack. Yeah, Red. it's 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 incredible the um, just the the body control and the understanding, right? It's like okay, I've pushed a little lighter. I'm just going to make this adjustment, and there's a perfect center guard. <laughs> <laughs> right again, yeah, almost in the exact same spot again. So they on their last shot, they just missed the run back on the shot stone. We'll see if they try to do it again here, uh, run those, run it back, and remove the shot stone at the same time. Yeah, well, we've got. Andrew Nurpin throwing, and he just missed again. That's just too bad. Just too bad. Yeah, it's it's a it's a long run back uh, from up there. Yes, yeah. it looks that's true. That's clear. Yeah. Good. So the, putting it back in that spot is really working for them. I think anything l closer to it is just setting up the double for Robillard. Exactly. Yeah, I think I think at this point you you got the feel down for the ice and the, and the weight here, and uh, you just keep putting it back until until something changes. And it's a great wall in front of the house. Pretty tough to draw in any from any side. Yeah. Oh, for the line, for the line. Oh, then it's open. No line. And then that. Right. So. That's going to be reliant on hitting. Over curling a little bit that is going to leave Robillard the opportunity to get in there yeah certainly and end up behind cover yeah we're going to see a discussion here whether they whether they do it again or or try something a little bit different The risk with the with the run back is that your blue shooter is probably going to end up in that same guard spot, which, if you're trying to score two, becomes a little bit difficult. Right. Looks like they are opting for the run back, though. Sure. The, this is a good time to do that. Yeah, third stones. You, you, know? you don't want your skip removing center guard. So I think, yes, you are right. My three favorite words. <laughs> Four favorite words. <laughs> 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 Guys. That'll play. I think. I think they recognized there was too much in in, in front of the house there, and yeah. look to look to open it up and give give the skips um, some options to work with here. Yeah, that was a really great shot yeah. by Nurpin to really open things up. Like seriously, that was with authority. Yeah. We're opening this up. Yeah, there There's was no there, more. There okay, was that's no enough. doubt. They 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 played the they played the uh, the the run back twice and it, and and it hadn't worked and they had to had to go back to the drawing board there. And it looks like uh, Team Hosley's here is going to have a discussion on uh, what to do. Was mir schon überlegt. Die Frage ist, hat er nicht immer eine Chance auf den Zweier? Yeah, klar. Yeah. Yeah, meine Überlegung war nur, wenn du Guard einigermaßen gut machst. Und auch wenn du den Run hast, du kannst ihn gleich forcen. Ja, wenn er den Run macht schon, wenn er den Roll macht, dann nicht. Also wenn er ihn perfekt hat. Ja, du musst ihn schon decken. Ja, ja. Aber also ich finde beides okay. Ja. Ich sag einfach, Guard haben wir vielleicht gar nicht schlechtere Chancen auf dem Forcen. Oder er hat gar nicht unbedingt bessere Chancen. Ich finde es okay. Ich finde beides gut. Wenn man drei, vier Schon abgesetzt muss man nur ein gutes Style spielen, das erste Mal. So they're wondering, like, do you draw, do you go around ja, the corner? Ja, do man you kann schon bis da kommen, wieder. Just keep guarding. But is one guard enough? 
when yeah. you're dealing with Team Robillard. You know, they're they're just going to be able to hit everything. Yeah, I think that, yeah, exactly. That was the discussion. Do you try to bury one and force them to just play in the middle, or do you just continue to play in the middle? And it looks like they've opted to just protect that shot stone um, and, and, and see what happens here. So well, let's come back to this if we need to, to discuss if maybe the come around would have been, you know, the better call, but... Uh, yeah. Let's and, just keep this in mind. We've got a couple couple more rocks to be played here, so we still lots of, lots of curling left. I, I this does have we to be made perfectly and they do need to, to be hard. effective. It needs to curl to get to that sideline. It's nice and high, and that's in their favor. Yeah, and that the shot. run back is really long. Ten. There is enough room, though, to get around that with curl for the out turn. Yeah, Not I'd so much on the in turn. I don't think that's there's enough space there. I think you can. I think you can get there. It's just, can you get there with enough pace to push it far enough back? Because if you, when you make contact there, you're going to need to move that rock almost into the full, into the full eight foot to sit shot stone. Which might be difficult with that ice, so they're gonna try. Still feel like yeah. the in the out turn would be a little bit easier. They're opting, yeah, yeah. They're opting for the port here. Yeah. You know. I wonder if this is the a, a comfort comfortability with the turn and the ice. Yes, it would be nice to have had them mic'd up so that we could have heard them. Mm -hmm. This does move here. Andrew's going to have to... He's, he's letting it ride. Oh, and they were just op they're just opting to move it out of the way. Oh. Interesting. And did get it out of play. It was dangerously <laughs> close to the <laughs> ring. There. You sometimes it. see those just ones lose the handle as they come yeah. and then bite back in. So yeah. lucky that that one continued to move away. So now they're opting to, to do that draw into the corner, which again... Uh, Sebastian's rock there, it it, uh, it stayed on the corner. And so now Team Hosley's here is going to try to use that as a, as a corner guard and, and bury one, yeah, bury a second one. This one looks like it's, it's carrying. Feeling like it's heavy. We've let this one go completely, which is usually a sign. This one's going to stick around. We're running out of rings. Jordan Tardy is on <laughs> that rock. <laughs> and That's a, uh, that takes it out of place, so... The benefits of having a strong sweeper uh, looking after the house. Just drag that rock right out. So there is a there is a blank here um, in play because that rock didn't stick around. And Robillard will hopefully try to keep the hammer to try again in the eighth to tie the game. Sebastian Robillard, last rock of this end, oh, looking to hit this. and roll out. I think he's got enough of the corner just to get it out of there, and we do take a blank end. So Sebastian's, yeah, down two, but has hammer. Going to try and uh, manage an end where he picks up two. Yeah, I mean, he's he's... There's the um, 
there's the end there in the was it the the fourth end where where he had the opportunity uh, t to score his yes. two and and ended up leaving or a steal sorry steal his one and he ended up leaving some rocks a little bit too close together and Hosley was able to double him out for for the first two points of the game and that's really been the difference maker in this game so um, he ha we have seen him set up ends two in his in his favor he just has to make sure that uh he doesn't leave something ex yeah. too exposed for uh <laughs> um for that hosley team because they are very strong hitters that's right and uh here we are in the eighth end of play at the new floors penticton curling classic and uh this game is brought to you by new floors penticton as well a and k gate a and k grim sausage limited they've got european sausages fresh yeah, meat ahead cheese and imported deli Good items clubs. you can find them at 666 Easy. Eckhart Avenue just down the street from the curling club Good. here we are at uh, live action play on the Saturday afternoon game here at the Penticton curling club we've had team Housley from Swiss Switzerland versus team Robillard from Good. British Columbia and Housley still in the lead with a score of three to one Robillard with Hammer here, trying to score two. Two to tie, force the extra end. Three to win. Each of these teams come in with a two and two record. So they're both looking to win here. As these games go on, we are starting to see teams that are rising to the top. Some teams with a four and zero record. Again, we've had 30 teams join us this year, and we've pooled them into five pools of six teams each. So they play five round-robin games yeah, and then go into the playoffs. They're playing for a prize pool of $100,000, and the first place winner is walking out with a check of $20,000, followed by the second place winner, fifteen. dollars that's amazing. That's Really good. great cash prizes here and $200 pay per win. So we have some really amazing sponsors uh, throughout the city that have made this event possible. Year after year after year. Seventh year in now. That's amazing that it's been already seven years. This is a, this is a fantastic, fantastic weekend of curling. And uh, it's, it's, it's so cool to be able to host it here in, in the Penticton Curling Club itself. And um, we have a fantastic uh, group of sponsors with the Royal LePage is here um, with some draw prizes as well as silent auction uh, the concessions open uh, it's, it's a great great opportunity to, to support your local curling club but also see what's see what's going on uh, down at the club here so um, tickets are still available uh, for today as tomorrow um, and for the finals on Monday this uh, this end is opened up right now with uh, two in the house for Team Hosley. Uh, team Robillard here is trying to set up their, their deuce by, by placing their corner guard. So they've got their corner guards in place, um, which is the important uh, start to the end, and we'll see, we'll see how the rest of this one plays out. Yeah, I agree. We're having some fun here tonight. Still three games left on the sheets. And... Uh, Park, Park, Park versus McEwen is still tied at four. And Nobert versus Slachinski still tied at three. And our feature game here on sheet D. Eighth end of play. Team Housley from Switzerland. I asked them before the game if there would be anyone back home that might be watching the live stream and they said it's unlikely since it's the middle of the night but if there is i'm supposed to say hi to the only person that might be watching the one person that for sure might be watching was tom uh Liz. so nice. tom if you were out there the guys did say to say hello and they're happy to see that you'd be watching. That would be cool. <laughs> I think I think they're selling them so short. I'm sure there's a couple fans that have woken up at three in the morning to watch. Like they're uh, they're they're an exciting team. 
let you know, you can't, they are on YouTube. We stream them live and they're recorded. So, you That's know, you true. can kind of go back and they just go, watch them in the morning. You could wake up at a normal yeah, time. You, yeah. you are true. But there's yeah, nothing like Sunday a live morning. curling match. You know, it could be spoiled on Twitter. You never know. <laughs> X. X. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't used it since it changed its name. <laughs> I don't know. I still use it. I just Maybe. haven't changed my, uh, what I call it. I guess I missed the little white bird. Needs to bury this one. And it looks like it's going to hang out just a touch. Just a little bit. It looks nice on the overhead. Team Housley has everything right. on the right-hand side of the house. Some danger with bunching up like that. Yeah, the, there is obviously the opportunity to double and triple stuff out, but I think overall they've got their number two rock there buried up behind the corner guard. Um, so, like, yeah, it's a lots of rocks to play here to, to, to see how this one plays out. But like I said before, yeah. leaving anything open against this this, this team is uh, usually a recipe for having that rock yeah. removed. Yes, yes, hard. So close. Great touch. Oh my goodness, what a great Good. shot from this great right. little right. team from Switzerland! Man, they are just outstanding. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're fighting right to the end. They they are now sitting four without hammer. Um, so Roblard's going to need to need to um, put some rocks in play here and remove some of these red ones um, if he's if he needs to, if he wants to score his two did it uh, in the end and that's what we're gonna see here it's a pretty high weight throw here I think to rattle some of these red ones around Don't want to get to nose on this one. Rolling to the right isn't great either. Interesting. Move it um, around, but the blue one is is, is going to be pretty easy exposed. to pretty easy to remove that blue rock. And now we've got kind of an interesting setup on that for our for our us viewing right. Um, side here where we kind of have three red ones almost lined up all underneath the corner guard there. Um, be curious to see if it's possible to remove those. And we'll see the Swiss team removing this blue rock. That's their their lines looking really good here. It's hanging out a little bit, so they're trying to get it to curl. Sticks around. So they're they're looking at basically trying to draw down, sort of freeze on that on that red one that's sort of at the T line there, um, to sort of get their first their first scoring rock in play here. Um, that looks to be the call. Freeze or just place it there somewhere. So that's the call there. He's, he's 
marked that on the ice a few times there with his broom that he wants that rock sort of right right on the on the right in that cluster on the by the T line on the right side there just tough to get around that yeah I think that's the apprehension of the, the team they've been just sort of discussing it And they've changed the shot. Yep. I think the shooter overruled it there. We're going to go for a hit and roll. Yeah, I think the hit and roll might be a great call here. Mine's looking pretty good for it. Don't want to come to nose. Over curling just okay, well. It's a pretty good shot. It really is. It really opens things up. Yep. They got shot out of it. They got shot, and that I mean, kind of buried. It's easy enough, based on the how well we've seen this team shoot. I, I'm a uh, hazard to say that this one's probably gone. But there is a little bit of backing there in the red. Yep. If you do miss it, there is a chance for a jam. Gonna yep. go for the run back yep. here. Whoa, 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 pedal, whoa! Clean. Great Gets shot. Them both. Wow. That's right. This team has been so good. Yeah, no hesitation. They they called that shot basically as soon as the rocks had sat down. They uh, they called that shot right away. There was no hesitation in what they were gonna do. And um, yeah, when you're that confident. <laughs> It's, it's a tough team to play. And can they get this blue one hidden? That's a great, great shot. shot. That's <laughs> awesome. So right there, it is it is sitting shot right now. It's really tough to take out. But there's not much that these guys are afraid of. Yeah. Yeah, but you know that there's no game with the map. Yeah, it's not good. Can you play it again? Yeah, it's good. That's all good. Yeah. You have a lot of money today, right? Yeah, yeah. How much is it? Yeah. Looks like they've chosen to go for the... Uh, for the freeze here, and uh, we can confirm that uh, the fans from Switzerland are awake watching the game. So, hello, Tom. Tom Lips said hello in our chat. I'm so excited. I'm going to let Team Hostly know that you were out watching just like they expected you Lini to good. be. Lini is there, good. Lini, good. Yeah, then, then line now. Bring it up. Hard line. Hard. Hard line. Hard. Hard. Can they get this there? Ooh. Not there for shot. Just came up short, so we have another opportunity for Robillard to basically replicate that shot to come down and, and freeze on it um, with now some protection. So. A uh, bit of an open, bit wow. of an opening for for Team Robel out here. So here we are in the eighth and final end of play, unless 
<laughs> Robillard can manage to uh, take two here. He does have last rock. It's coming in really nice. He's got to get it by that top red one. Those sweepers are on it hard to push that one by, and it rubs just on the top of the top of the red one there. So he is. I don't think. I think he's third. I that think rock he's is third. third. Yeah, I think he's third. <laughs> just touched, just a touch of it there, and now Hosley starts yeah. to look at their uh, their hitting options. Well, I'm sure Robillard would have uh, really wished he missed that guy. It was just a, a hair light. I and it managed to just touch that guard. I think if it doesn't touch, I think it has enough weight to get there for second shot. Um, but unfortunately, it was just a, yeah, just a hair light and, and, and leaving, touched up here. Yeah, leaving this opportunity hope open for this yeah. uh, this yep. hitting yes. hostly team. That's just been outstanding. Oh, just missed it underneath there. So. Oh, wow. See, we are looking at the opportunity for Robillard to tie this game up and force an extra end. Yeah, just needs uh, needs just to t just just needs to touch the forefoot there for. It's not going to be tricky to find a way in. No, it's open, it's <laughs> wide open. <laughs> That's how uh, these teams seem to like to play. So um, it'll just be a draw to the four uh, to force an extra end here. We've seen some draws go heavy. Um, even in this game, uh, early in the game, but we have seen some draws go heavy, so um, we'll hopefully he'll put this rock in the sweeper's hands. You know, it's late in the game. There's fewer teams out on the ice. It, the ice conditions may have changed. Yeah, here comes the so shot. So what you knew two ends ago might not be the same. So this is a tricky shot either way. It's Like I say, curling is an easy game to play. It's a hard game to be good at. Exactly, yeah. Need to get this to the forefoot. Looking really good. Yeah. They've got to get it. Got to get it. Got to get it to four, and gotta they do. Got to get it, and they do. So that's nice. a tie game. Sometimes you'll see them throw the rocks down to the far end and then play back. I think there was a little bit of a discussion there on which, which way they wanted to go, but we're... We're going to be playing away from the camera here for the final end. So this is game number 12 at the new Floors Penticton Curling Classic. We are featuring Team Housley from Switzerland versus Team Robillard from around British Columbia. Robillard just uh, taking advantage of his hammer in the last end and tying the game. So we're now sitting at three points each after several bank blank ends. You know, uh, ends number one, two, three, and seven were all blank. So we've had, uh, now we've had as many scoring ends as we have had blanks. So Robillard with the first throw. I think he wants something here in the house or up above seemed to indicate by his broom that he wanted it in i was i was wondering the same thing um his the, the just the way that these teams have been matched up the the center guard plays has all it's done is prolonged the inevitable so i wonder if you try something yeah, different here and 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 go after it but that being said without hammer um your best chance of stealing is having stuff in front tolerance is light rather than heavy on this yeah so Looks like a nice center guard. Yeah, that's going to go in really nice. 
just touch the center line so it'll be protected for the first five rocks of the game. I can see our ice crew out there waiting to get onto <laughs> the ice. Our next games here are at 7 p.m. It is currently quarter to six, and I know they need some time to get the ice ready. Still tickets available if you feel like coming down to the Penticton Curling Club. If you're in the area tonight, come on down. Do come early. There's uh, going to be limited parking. There is an event at the South Okanagan Event Center. Tonight's games will feature Dunstone versus Pierce, Schuster versus Eden, Cooey versus Richard, Yanagisawa versus Montgomery, Epping versus Dijon and Bruner versus Berg. So we've still got some great curling action to uh, finish off our evening. There's a nice little concession here. We've got breweries like Slackwater pouring for us and offering some samples. And uh, Evolve, the winery, was uh, opening some wine for us here this afternoon and we were doing a little bit of wine tasting so still lots of draws 50 50s silent auction come on down and have some fun and get in on this live action it's really great to see these awesome um, players from all over the world lots from canada lots from bc out here and it's just been great such a great event yeah the curling is very high quality this this game this game has showed showed us um, a lot of different stuff and it looks like uh, looks like we're going to be playing on the center line for for a lot of this game so or this end so we'll see. It's looking to come down on that red one, and that's great weight. Really great weight. It really came close to the guards there, and I think it does leave Robillard with an opportunity. He's liking the come around, draw hidden, or open those up. Yeah, with us being an extra ends right now, obviously next score wins. So um, you're basically both playing for the for the same for the same one point. It's not. Yeah, that's right, Mick. Just gotta get it by that back guard, and it looks like he does. Is gonna get by the second one. Just a rub. It does break up the reds just a little bit, though. <laughs> and Hosley goes to the goes to removing the center center guards as soon as they can. They always do. Lean, stone, curl, curl. Okay. Open up the center. Jordan Tardy with his second throw this end. Yeah. 
Ich habe mich nur gefragt, das ist jetzt so schlecht. Vielleicht ja, ich habe mir überlegt, so. der nicht da. Aber wenn du einfach nur der nimmst, ist er noch mal besser. Nachher. Was gefällt dir? Oder beides. Ziemlich dünn, ja. Das andere ist so etwas mal. Ich versuche es. Der Doppel. Ich kann auch den dünnen Doppel probieren, Inox. So, kannst du schon probieren. Der Single ist okay. Ja. Das ist ein bisschen der Blaubrühe. Just opting, opting for the peel, is that, is that what I'm seeing here? It looks yes. like peel weight. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Whoa. Close, close. Whoa. Yep, yes. yes. yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow, so that changed things up a little bit. Just a bit of a rub on the on that on the blue there pushed it into a second stone. And you heard the sigh there. They weren't they weren't anticipating or they're hoping to go over to the top there. So yeah, a little bit of a change of change of perspective here. It looks like uh Robillard still really wants to make sure that there's uh stuff in the front of the house here uh coming down onto the third stones here. Also looking at opening it up if he can get rid of those two red rocks and create some space. Oh, it's too bad their mics aren't working. Yeah. Or Whatever it is, I don't know if it's that they didn't put them on. That's just too bad. Okay. Once another one up at the top of the 12. Using this time to, you know, set up the steel. He doesn't have the hammer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I'm, I figure he's he's looking at an opportunity to get them, get some, some stuff in play, sort of, just off the center line, so that when he comes time to remove those red rocks, that there will be something to hide behind. Because um, if you, as we've seen in this this game, time and time again, if it's anything's exposed, uh, you're looking at double, maybe even triples from from this. Uh, this very strong uh, Swiss wow. team. Wow. It's a good throw. Buried. Flash does. That's only a drittel. Wow. Go, go, baby. With Nase. Heck, da, aber. Ist mal vorne. No, team Hosley was going to take a look at this. Um, well, yeah, what do you do here if you're Hosley? I think they see an opportunity. Well, the original look was is there an opportunity to move that blue one out, but I think they're trying to think that if they push that blue to red to blue, um, they can, can they can get second shot while also removing that, that second blue one. It's hard to see if that... The two reds and blues that are up in that eight foot there, if they're locked together or not, and what that might have to, what that might have to say with when the rocks collide. Yeah. So. Hosley with red rocks. Yeah. Robillard with the blue. Yeah. Also, oh, oh, stick. Hosley with hammer. Can I shot? Yeah. Please do it. Please do it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm not so fan of rock. Sitting yeah. shot rock. Single. I'm <laughs> a single or the other. Yeah. When so bald as offen is, can we just throw it out? When it's guarded in the middle. What? 
Yeah, if they hit that blue one at the top of the new floors, does it also slice into the red and into the blue, and then both blues are out, red sitting three? Yeah, that's like there is. There, there is a. I think there. I think that might happen, but I think they're also looking at potentially just coming down without the run back and just doing it on a, doing it with their their shot stone here. The guard is kind of in the way there. A little bit, yes. It looks pretty tough from ice level and our angle on this on this sheet of ice. Okay, maybe they are going for the run back here. Yep. Yep. Yes. Are they running it back? The opening it up. Just opening it up. Okay. Good, also not a bad good call. Good time to do that. But they are starting to run out of rocks now. Yeah, I think the the Hostly team doesn't, or has Hammer, so it is in their, their interest to not have anything to hide behind. If they can push stuff, or if how this one gets pushed around will, will dictate what they can do next. Again, I kind of like that shot call, though. It's it's something that is sort of playing to your strength, right? Remove remove the any opportunity at this point in time to have something weird happen on you. Right? Yeah. Okay. Ninth end of play here. We've had to go an extra end. Team Robillard taking two in the last end to tie the game. Next to us on sheet E. Yeah. Team Slachinski is down 4-3 to Team Nobert. And uh, Nobert is, uh, you know, there's still a couple of rocks left to play here. Nobert's on his last, so Slichinski with the hammer. Oh my gosh, if that game is just on its eighth end. Oh! Nobert just doubled out two blues on sheet E there to uh, to basically force the force the tie there. Very wide double. There's a red biter too. Yeah, back on the action on sheet D here. It looks like uh, Robillard has opted uh, to. Finally remove at least one of those red stones there with with the run back here. Is that over curling? Not quite the weight I think they wanted. And uh, yeah. so it does open things up a little bit. Um, it's not awful. Shooter stuck around. Still pretty tough to get the red rocks both out of there, though you could take a couple rocks to do it, I suppose. Yeah, I think that was the that was the play was on that shot was to try to remove the one red and then only have to worry about one more. Um, unfortunately, they sort of spilled. Yeah. They spilled out, and now they're now they got to take two more shots to make it work. So, Hosley should he guard? Tap. Get rid of that blue on the forefoot. I think, I think, a, tap, I think a tap onto the, the shirt, their shot stone and push it just a little bit further in leaves you shots one and three um, with a lot of work to get rid of them. But it looks like they're going to they're gonna throw up weight again. That was a lot of weight. So they're just trying to get rid of that blue stone. Wow. Let's get a double. Sure, there's always that. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? 
and these guys have been just outstanding with their hits. Yeah. It's been such a great game. It doesn't matter how many rocks are within the forefoot. Um, they can they can move them around how they how they see fit. So this is this is shaping up nicely for Team Hosley um, with Last Rock. So Robo this will be the first of Skip Stones here. Looks like Robolard is trying to go around, around and basically grab a grab the full forefoot there behind the red the red stone. Well, it kind of deflated any real action that Robillard had a lot of rocks in play. There's it, Now we've got one, and it's out on the edge of the eight. It's been the been the story of this game. Um, is anytime anytime Hosley gets into trouble, uh, they're able to they're able to hit themselves hit themselves out of trouble and yeah. and, and 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 really into into very fair, favorable uh, skip stone situations. This rock needs to be buried or frozen. That's a good shot. Yeah, I like that. How many will I have? Das. How many? Schnell. Yeah. Schnell. Er will no sit spielen. Das ist okay. Kommt drauf an, was wird spielen mit dem Letzt. Ein Doppel ist gut. Okay. Kannst du dann auch kurz dran spielen, wenn du willst? Ja. Okay. Ist spät. Also, ich sage, wenn ich ein bisschen rollt, dann müsst ihr mir das 8 Fuß legen. Aber das ist schon okay. Ich glaube, das andere ist das, oder? Das andere ist das. Und dann nochmal. Wirst du wahrscheinlich können sprengen vielleicht nicht. Also, wenn, dann müssen wir das verlieren. Ja, er ist aber schon fast auf der T-Line nachher. Wir können sprengen ja. gut. Gut. Wir können es probieren, klein nehmen, wenn wir. Mal. Ja. Ja. Aber es ist nachher gar nicht so einfach, wenn er Not macht, jetzt, wenn er nicht hast. Ja, yeah. ja. Yeah. Aber vier Fuß drei haben wir, wenn wir das spielen. Das ist dreifach. Well, here we are at the Penticton Curling Club. Ninth end of play in this twelfth game in the, uh, twelfth draw in the event. Each of these teams coming in. Two wins, two losses. Teams. Oh, Kyle. Just looking to pick this blue one out. Looking Not right. too worried about the red one. Right. Um, with last rock, just gotta, just gotta play, play blue out of out of stones here. Right, so Robillard will look here to just remove the shot stone, sit two, and uh, force the draw. Or more likely, force the double. Yeah, I agree, right? Because no matter, you know, in my, in most cases, it seems that Hostley will take the hit yeah. option over the draw. Yeah. If these were 10 in games, it might be a little, you know, something to use against them somehow if you manage to figure that out in time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Robillard's last throw of this game. Wants to get to nose or maybe just roll it out. Roll it out wide. But he's going to get nose. That's not bad. There's, you know, there's out. the potential yeah. of a jam. Out. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think the on on second second look, I think that is the better shot. I was thinking at first like rolling away and leaving it open and then sort of forcing it forcing a team that's basically only thrown hits all game to draw to the four, but um, now we'll see. Does he does he have another double in him? This is for the game.
Oh, Bean. Yep. Yes. Halt! Halt! That's good. Nice. Yeah, it looks great. There they go. Hosley with the win. So they go three and two. My name is Sherry Burkailo Diaz. Mick, thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, we've got more curling action. Thanks for joining us from New Floors Penticton and ANK Grim Sausage. Thank you so much for your support. Have a great evening, everyone.